serious rich people of reddit what don't they tell you about being rich i'm not millionaire wealthy or anything outrageous just middle class and live within my means but that's significantly better off than a lot of my cousins on my dad's side of the family what they don't tell you about being the rich person in the family is that everyone feels entitled to your help and they get pussy when you can't or won't give them money and they don't seem to have any understanding that I have to live off my money first before I can give it to anyone else and they aren't the only ones begging for my help. If I gave money to everyone who asked for it, I'd have nothing left to live on. And I'm not buying your damn kids an iPhone for Christmas when they don't even have winter coats, okay? If I'm buying them anything, it's shit they need first. People will trivialize your problems, especially those that require social support, divorce, job loss, death of a family member, etc. And are damaging to your mental health. These scenarios are stressful for people of all levels of wealth. They think that because you're rich, you can't get depressed, or that your problems don't matter because other people have it worse than you. People expect you to be okay with just giving them money and stuff. For example, I picked up some stuff at the store for someone at work, and when I asked for the money she was like, you make way more than me, and you're being cheap about a few dollars? She never did repay me, and I will never do her another favor like that. It's irritating that people feel entitled to what I've earned. I also went out of my way to do that for her. Even when I made $13 slash HR, if someone did that for me, or I borrowed 50 frigging cents, I always repaid it. Granted, it was only like $10, but it's not the point. I'm careful with money, and take care of it, and it's part of the reason I'm financially secure now. I don't care, laugh at me, call me cheap, whatever. I've also went out of my way, to find opportunities for her to go to school. She could have had a free ride at LPN school and it's too much or more responsibles to get a raise, but it's the entitled mentality, that holds her back. My parents went from comfortable to very wealthy, after I was already an adult. I get a lot of shit for coming from money, when the reality is I got all the shit parts of the process. I went to a dozen schools and never graduated, I had to make new friends every year, when the next job opportunity came up across the country. It's not all sunshine and rainbows, and I'd still take my unstable childhood over that of my youngest sibling who is growing up in this rich world that breeds narcissists. You spend more as you have more, and it's very easy to end up not actually having any more, because you spent it. In good part it's, because well paying jobs often demand a lot of hours and availability from you, and you feel guilt for that. So when it comes to spending the cash, you throw it around, because, a, that's the payoff, that's what you work for. So you eat at really good restaurants, you holiday in really expensive places, you move to a great part of town, you send your kids to good private schools, you buy a sweet car, and all of those things eat up so much cash then. Unless you're genuine 1% you're actually not much further from the breadline than someone on much less money. And the job you took, knowing it would be hard to oil and bleak, but that you could weather it for 2 or 3 years and then retire, well, you can't retire. Cause you'll pay the school fees, the mortgage, the next holiday in Mystique etc. It's a very easy trap to fall into. Snobby rich people aren't the norm, most wealthy people quietly make their money and live their lives. I noticed growing up in an affluent area, that it was often the less affluent people, that tried to flaunt wealth with new cars, designer clothes, and generally snobby behavior. I got most of my clothes from secondhand stores or Walmart or the like, and got my dad's old car, as did most of the people I knew that were actually wealthy. People that actually have money don't feel the need to flaunt it, and usually try to hide it. It's the difference between putting a 20 on the outside of a wad of 1s or a 1 on the outside of a wad of 20s. Growing up in a somewhat wealthy family just makes you take some things for granted. I currently have an iPhone 8 Plus, and I just had my old Galaxy S7 Edge and iPad 5 laying around. My family recently hosted two people from somewhere in South Africa, and I gave them the two devices I didn't even use. They were so happy and excited about having them, but to me, it was absolutely nothing giving them away. You really forget that there are people who have less, and forget to appreciate how much you have. Before I was rich I made $5. 15 an hour's minimum wage. Friends didn't care what I made, or what I drove, but knew I would always help them. 
Now, I do make more than I need. I do give to charities cause I can afford to, and I do it, because I want to, even if I was making $5. 15 again but be smaller contributions. Friends suddenly care what I make and think I'm always gonna help them. Family is the worst though. Long lost relatives come out of the woodworks and try to be your buddy with a sappy ass story the pre-rehearsed, how it would be so cool if I could help, and they promise to pay me back. Fuck off. Just as someone mentioned earlier, I'll help your family with what they need not what they want. A fucking iPad slash pad slash phone slash or I went as a want, not a need. Main thing is you are alienated from your own kind, because you know how to budget and get paid very well. It sucks. Asked my boyfriend, because he comes from very rich family. I'm South African immigrant, so I really didn't know him, or how rich he was when we met. He says it was difficult for him to make friends or date, because people knew his family, for being well off, and he didn't know if people really wanted to be his friend, or wanted to get something from him. Also what I noticed, is he will leave lights on when goes out, doesn't care, well I care, lets the water run without worrying about the bill. Simple things like that. I care, he doesn't. I dated someone who was very wealthy, and had a huge family, lots of cars, properties, old family money. When I first met him, I had no clue that he was wealthy, because he's just a good sweet country boy. As the time went on I realized the mental toll it took on him, he's in line to take over the family business. He worried all of the time, whether or not people were just using him, and he had a lot of paranoia. Also, since the family is so big, and they all have a lot of money from family businesses and everything is intertwined, there is a lot of family drama. One time my ex started freaking out, because his dad was at a car show, and owned not only one collectible car, like everyone thought, but two, and I snapchatted it, and had to instantly take it down, because his family saw it, and were asking all of these questions, and were super pissed. They lied their way out of it, and honestly I feel like there were just so many secrets. I love them all dearly to this day, but it just made me so sad. Just the other day my ex said something to me about how he world bought me all the diamonds in the world and I replied back about how all I wanted was his love and his time, and I world lived in a shack with him, if it meant we cold worked out. Anyways. Wealth does things to people, and after that whole experience I can see why it's sometimes viewed as the root of evil. That's a little dramatic, but still. I suspected my boyfriend was from a wealthy family, but when he told me what family he was from, he asked me not to tell so of course I told my best friend, but I ain't telling y'all, I freaked out a little. He acts like a normal guy, minus the fact he's very flippant about how much money things cost. I had asked if he wanted to go with me to visit my friend in New York, and he said sure. So when I mentioned my friend said our hotel has to have a bathtub, her apartment is so small she doesn't have one, and he goes well we'd be staying at the Waldorf. They obviously have bathtubs. I said I couldn't afford the Waldorf, and he goes it's only $1000 a night, plus you won't be paying. He's also offered to help me pay off my debt, about dollar sign 50k total, offered to take me to Bora Bora for my birthday, when I jokingly asked if we could, bought me $255 versus sunglasses, because they made me think of you, is planning to take me to a wedding in Monaco where I would pay for nothing, and told me, if I pass the facade on the first try, he'd give me a million dollars. On the flip side, on our first date he asked if I was okay with him paying for dinner, and offered to rock paper scissors me for it. He lost so he paid, but we generally decide who pays that way. It's nice knowing, if I ask for something small, or big, I'll get it, since with my ex I had to pay for everything, even my own prom corsage, but it also freaks me out that he has that much money. IDK, this'll get buried, but I wanted to share my puff. Not rich personally, but my parents are, and I still live with them. People don't understand that, just because you can afford to do something, doesn't mean you have that money to spend. We can afford to go on lots of vacations, but it's not financially viable to do so. Also, in my experience, if you aren't white or Asian, people are going to assume you're poor. My high school is about 90% white, 8% Asian, and the rest black slash Hispanic slash etc. 
My family's black and people legitimately get surprised when they see that we have nice cars, a nice house, and can even afford to live in the neighborhood. People look at you and talk about you differently when they know you're one of them. People usually don't think about the responsibility and stress that comes with it. It's not that those rich people just sit at home do anything and collect the money, although some do, most likely those people work a stressful job where, even when they get home they can't totally disconnect from their job, they may always be worrying about what to do next, planning the work projects, etc and there's a good chance those people don't work a 40 hour work week. They probably work 60 hours or more, who knows. I have a client that has to have personal security everywhere with her and her husband, she doesn't even drive herself. Basically she is never alone even at home in which they have full staff. One time she admitted to me it drives you a little crazy kind of joking manner, and then later in the night, maybe because of booze or maybe because she liked me who knows, told me she felt like reality was slipping because of her lack of privacy while looking pretty sad. I should probably put in context that I'm a fine art dealer and we had a show with work that wasn't super uplifting aha. In the end I felt really bad for her, I never thought about it like that, always being watched and stuff. Another friend of mine is a celebrity makeup artist in Hollywood and she tells me all kinds of stories of how tragic these people's lives really are. Mostly just unimaginably lonely and insecure. My parents make slash made a lot of money. My younger brother is in an industry known for treating its people well money wise and started making 4 times as much money as I do in half the time since graduation and with worse grades than I received. Between me and my fiancé, we are above the median income for our expensive state. I'm currently in the beginning of a solidly middle class career, teaching, and my parents are freaking out that I'm going to suffer for the rest of my life for lack of money. To be fair, I'm currently pretty low income, since I've just changed careers a year ago, so I'm at the bottom of the money totem pole, but even the average income for a teacher is poverty to them. Every conversation with them includes something about well, you can always do something different, or you're just going to struggle so much, and you don't even understand it, because we always supported you. I get a lot of half-baked demands, that I supplement my income, by writing and publishing a book in my spare time or working as a seasonal piralegal in the summer. When I say how much I like my job, I get well, maybe you could be superintendent. It's all coming from a place of concern, but it's got the undertone of what you're doing isn't good enough. All of them have a really weird concept of what money is worth. My brother is a bit more reasonable, since he's been on his own for a while, but he still has his moments. For the past couple of Christmases, my parents have been giving me and my brother decent chunks of change to put into CDS and savings to help out later down the road when we buy our own houses. They're adamant that we not spend it on anything else in the meantime. When I told them what my salary was, they immediately accused me of spending the house money because they didn't believe it was possible for me to be staying on budget. I had to show my mom the bank account with all the money in it before she believed me. And, like, I want to stress that this doesn't come from a place of snobbery, but it's just the result of almost two decades living a life so far removed from the average. It's a loss of perspective, with maybe a dash of I know better than you thrown in. And I spent most of my life living that way, and benefiting from my parents' luck, hard work and financial savvy, so it's not like I'm an outsider looking in. It's just what they're used to. I make dollar sign 230k at 31, and I grew up working class. Honestly, I haven't experienced much negative. I have a very large network of friends and acquaintances, and no one has asked me for money. My parents or relatives haven't, nor have childhood friends who are still lower middle or middle class. That said, I cut off all leeches, druggies, etc I knew in high school. I went to an elite undergrad and MBA so most of my close friends are somewhat successful. I don't doubt my friendships, or think they want anything from me. Probably the hardest thing is keeping up with the Geniseses. Houses I want are $1. 5 meters and my friends are all buying Maseratus and Tesla S's, and I can't afford that. I'm not super rich, but I do make notably more than average. As my income has grown, it's amazing to see how much really does go to taxes. If you think rich people somehow find a bunch of secret loopholes, you're mostly wrong. 
I do get deductions for mortgage interest and charitable donations, but mostly I just pay more taxes as I make more. The more you make, the more you pay. I'm not rich in the sense that some people envision, but I'm the most financially sound out of my immediate family, and my issues have already been touched on which is mostly the idea that because they're family and I have money, I should be willing to give them money. Some examples. Whenever I come home, stationed overseas, there's always this insinuation that the only way we as a family can go out and do things is if I pay. My sister asked to borrow $2,500 to pay off a loan. I readily agreed because she told me she would pay me back and she is my sister. We are approaching a year and I haven't seen any of it. She never mentions it, and when I do, she gets all mopey. Mom invited herself to a lunch that was supposed to be a chance for my sister and I to spend some time. When it comes time to pay, Mom says she doesn't have any money to pay her bill. Nice move. There's a lot of situations like that, where it's basically implied that, since I have money, I should share with the family. The only reason I have money is because I don't make the mistakes or go into debt like they do. Just turned 21 and making a lot of money at a tech company. Not rich per se, but make about 3 to 4 times someone else my age. I guess it might be the cliche thing, but it buys comfort, not happiness. There's something really special about being young and frugal and having big dreams, like there's a lot of joy and light in that. And I love how blessed I am. But I also feel a little boring now, 